Hello and welcome to EGN 3613. Engineering Economics Analysis is a course that emphasizes on economic evaluation of engineering uh, alternatives. Primary um, course concerns is calculating project costs, incorporating interest rates, tax implications, risk, and depreciation to assess the relative worth of engineering and generic investment alternatives. My name is Professor Yusuf and I will be your instructor for this course. Please feel free to contact me via email, uh, phone, face-to-face uh, -face, or through virtual office hours using Skype. Please take the time to view, read and understand all the provided material. 99% of your questions are addressed in the syllabus and the posted material. My office hours are posted under the announcements tab through the online learning system and in the syllabus. Screenshot has been provided to show you how it's been posted. For easy access to the course material, I created for you a link within the welcome announcement. Click here to start, which will take you to the course material under modules. The textbook is required and it's called Fundamental of uh, Engineering Economics by Chan Park. Uh, you can find the book in the bookstore, uh, Daytona State College bookstore or online. You can use addall.com to display all the companies selling the product uh, or the book, uh, the book for you and uh, select the lowest price offered. You can use uh, as a reference Principles of Engineering Economic Analysis 5th edition by White Case and Pratt. Uh, you don't need to buy uh, this book. Uh, you can just find it in the public library uh, or in the Newton State College Library uh, to uh, utilize it uh, during the course period uh, again to understand the course material. One of the main questions that I've been asked by students is what's in it for me uh, to take this course and to learn about engineering uh, or economics analysis. Uh, first you will be able to talk to a financial uh, uh, or to financial people in their language since many companies are run by financial people and not to forget that the world revolves around money. Second, you will be able to evaluate projects from the financial perspective. For example, which machine should be selected to uh, uh, automate a uh, process? Uh, should I buy or lease? And other uh, related decisions. In addition, you will have the benefit on the personal level. Uh, you will know how to plan for retirement. Uh, you will be able to take the decision of buying or leasing a car. Uh, you can evaluate the best loan uh, options uh, on a home mortgage. Uh, and you can use it for simple and hard decisions. And you can use uh, the uh, calculations and analysis for lifelong decisions. Many students think that uh, this uh, a tough course. Actually, it's not. Although it's based on math, um, but all what you need is to pay attention to class requirements, watch lectures, read assigned material, and do every assi assignment. And if you have a problem, uh, don't hesitate to call me or come in my, to my office and uh, I can uh, explain for you um, more explanation on how to uh, solve the problems or um, if uh, you have any concerns towards the class. Uh, apply yourself at the beginning of the course. Um, don't expect to catch up uh, later. Uh, you want um, because the material will start accumulating uh, fast. Uh, don't expect to read the book during the test and understand what's going on. Don't wait until the last minute to study for the exam. The more you practice, the more you uh, um, solve assignments and problems, the more you understand. And um, you need to understand the different terminologies that we'll be using during the course. The course is online, so all course material will be available for you uh, through the online learning system. Your homepage will display the different courses uh, where you can click on your course of interest to access course information. I suggest that you navigate through the different tabs to get yourself familiar with the course organization. 
In addition, I would suggest that you log in at least once every 24 hours to stay current with course requirements and changes. For easy access, all course material, including assignments, discussions, quizzes, presentations, lectures, and supplement material have been posted under the course content tab through different modules. The modules will be released on a weekly basis as the semester progresses. You need to access your online courses daily to check for the latest updates and due dates. The syllabus quiz should be completed during the first week. I released that for you this week so you can complete it and failing to complete the quiz could lead to purging from the class uh, and you will not be able to view the course material anymore. All students are required to complete a weekly discussion which should be due uh, by Sunday of each week. Make every attempt to post your initial response by the middle of the, the module week and respond at least to one of your peers by the end of that week. The first week will not include a discussion since it's just the course information, so the syllabus quiz will replace the discussion of the first week. The discussion postings will begin from week two. The weekly discussion is to answer the questions posted and reply to at least one of, the, uh, one of your classmates posts before the end of the submission period. And this is to increase interaction with the class and you will learn more from your peers. The questions should be answered after reviewing the course material. As stated before, it's required to complete this weekly discussion. Actually, you will not be able to uh, view the next module until you complete this activity. And make sure to use the format that's being used in the template for that discussion. Questions and answers. Use the provided channels to communicate with the instructor. You can email, call, Skype, or come in person during office hours. The more communication you have with the instructor, the better understanding of the course material. Email messages should have the subject as the name of the course and the problem you have. Use professional language and professional words when writing your email. Students are highly encouraged to communicate in person during office hours. Virtual office hours are posted online. You can use Skype to communicate with me during the uh, office hours. Uh, Skype is um, a free software that can be added through Windows as an application. If you don't have a Microsoft account, you can create one and add the instructor to your list of contacts. With Skype, you can share documents and um, or computer screen and ask questions as needed. Assignment submission should be through Falcon Online. Don't email me any assignments unless you've been asked to do so. Late assignments will not be accepted. Use the following format for assignment name submission. So you will have the assignment which is A and then the number underscore 3613 underscore your last name. Write your full name and email address at the top of the first page of the assignment. The assignment should be submitted in Microsoft Word format or PDF. Since we are dealing with math and we are solving problems, you should show your work. So when you solve a problem, do not give me the solution only. You have to show your work. How did you get to the final result or final solution? There will be two exams through the whole semester, midterm and a final. Both exams will have 50 questions, true false, and multiple choice questions with two points each. The final will include all chapters within the course material. Grading changes from one semester to another based on uh, given tasks and activities. Usually you will have uh, graded assignments, discussions, exams, um, otherwise it will be specified in the syllabus and in the grading policy uh, the different uh, activities that will be graded or assessed. So check the syllabus for grading policy and points distribution. Engineering economy goal is to provide students with uh, an understanding of analysis of cost element 
uh, or elements in technical operations and uh, the basis for comparison of alternatives, especially when you are comparing projects or solutions for uh, problems uh, within uh, an engineering environment. By the end of the semester, you should be able to formulate and solve time value uh, money, value of money problems, uh, identify sources of data and apply uh, appropriate techniques to solve economic problems, explain the importance of making uh, appropriate economic decisions, explain the impact of engineering economics decision in a global and social or societal uh, uh, context. The topics that will be covered are uh, the engineering economics decisions, so you will know uh, the importance of taking the decision and then uh, what does it mean, the time value of money, and then understanding money management. Uh, then uh, we're going to start calculating and looking at the equivalence of the calculation under uh, inflation, using the inflation. Uh, concept or terminology. Uh, we do analysis through present worth analysis and annual equivalence analysis and rate of return analysis. And those are the different approaches or analysis that we do to compare uh, projects and take the proper decision of selecting the alternative. And then we look at resolution of multiple rates of return and then the accounting for depreciation and income taxes. We will be using Microsoft Excel to solve problems. Uh, so your assignments will be submitted in Word format, but you can either uh, include the Excel file within the Word document embedded within that, or take screenshots uh, for the spreadsheet and post it uh, or uh, paste it in the Word document that you submit. Uh, lectures include examples on how to use Excel for different calculations. Skype is a video conferencing tool that you can download for free, register to log in, then add um, your instructor um, as your contact um, a person or one of your contacts. And my ID is professor.yusuf. So search for me, add me to your list of contacts, and then when you need anything, you just um, call using um, that app, and I will be more than glad to uh, assist you in that. So it doesn't have to be within the virtual office hours. It can be during office hours, any uh, day of the uh, office hours. But in addition, I dedicated virtual office hours for that. That will be all for the session. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to use the given communication channels, and I will be more than glad to address uh, your concerns. Thank you, and have a great day.